well of late intimidation aggressive tactics what would you say to try and cool the temperature before the vote on Thursday well everyone has to calm down we all have to live with each other after Thursday so that goes for everybody but uh, contrary to the narrative that has been spun we are actually the victims of that dirty trick uh, approach to politics the Kirklees Council, a Labour Council, has in the last 48 hours removed at least 2,000 of our posters from well, lampposts. We've, we've seen a lot of your posters, so there's no doubt that you're making a real impression yeah. here. But why, why have you come to stand in this seat? You have nothing to do would with this particular ask, seat. Did you ask that of any of the other yes, candidates? I have done. Yes, why I have, have done. they come to stand in this seat? Because there's an election. And the if you're election, not a local the, man, why wouldn't somebody vote well, for Kim uh, uh, Leadbeater, uh, uh, who is born and bred here goodness. and knows the constituency very well? Is there any need for me in this interview, or are you just <laughs> going to give a party political broadcast? Uh, I'm deeply connected to this area, as you're going to see on Thursday. Uh, as to the local aspect, well, Marcello Bielsa from nearby Argentina has got Leeds United flying in the Premier Division. Uh, it's not where you're from that counts, it's what you can do. So to I hope you I... never have to hire a lawyer, but I'm sure that if you do, you'll choose the best one, not the one that lives across the road. But some of your campaign is surely about getting rid of Keir Starmer as the leader of the Labour Party. Sure. You, you've spoken about that. Sure. That's, and you've talked about yourself being a revolutionary in the past. That's a rev this kind of revolution, though, is a negative one, surely. What are your positive goals, other than trying to bring down the Labour leader? Uh, I ask again, is there any point in me being in this interview? This is a party political broadcast. The people here have been left behind, neglected and taken for granted. And they're going to show what they feel about that on Thursday. I think I'll be the beneficiary of that. But whatever happens, Labour will lose this election. And they will lose it not because you say I'm a revolutionary, no, not because I arrived a in a, with a fanfare on a bus, not for any of the other negatives you've spun in just two or three minutes in this interview. But because Arriving Labour... Arriving on a bus and having a, hundred, a fanfare isn't a, hundred, a negative thing. A, a, a hundred yards from here is a listed building that used to be the police station. Labour closed it down and sold it to a property developer for the price of a chip shop. That's the kind of local issue that has got people uh, very angry indeed at Labour. And you're going to see, look, the all of your questions... Let's talk about the Conservatives then, because they could have kept yeah. that um, police station no, open. They They've been in Labour power since it. 2010. No, it was if Labour you, that if, closed if you, it. If, if you split the Labour vote... There is no Labour to, vote. There okay. are only voters. OK, if, individual you, if, voters. if you drive, if you drive right. a wedge through no, the majority that Labour currently hold, surely you will be handing this election to the Conservatives. Is that what you Are want? You, is this Labour TV or is it the BBC? Is this Labour do you TV? Want, do you, look, do you, are you look, happy to look, see the Conservatives look, gain the, power There is here? no such thing as a Labour vote. There are only voters, individual human beings, who have to be persuaded to vote for you. Now, your concern for the fate of the Labour Party in this constituency is touching probably in breach of the BBC's charter. I'm asking One you about of the, the reasons why people are switching power. off are you happy the BBC to have the News Conservatives in droves. In power? I'm fighting to win this election. If you vote for me, you'll get me. I have no obligation to any other party in this election. But how and much I of an obligation do you feel earlier, that you have you, to that the You, inspect? quite simply, would never ask these questions of anyone else. You wouldn't trick. ask the Liberal Democrat if he was happy to let in the Tories, why are you asking me? Because you're the person who's likely to take more of the vote than the Liberal Democrats well, are in this I'm election, not sure according to you, the polls. I'm not sure how you know that, but it's encouraging of you to say so. I'm fighting on my record, my programme for votes for me. And you probably wouldn't be here if you didn't already know that I was doing so quite successfully. We're here because we're talking to a lot of voters and a lot of candidates. You've said it's about you. 
it should be about the people of Batley and Spen. How long do you... When how long do, Just then, you me. said it's about me. It's, it's about, about votes for me. It's about my record, my programme, and what I'm offering the people in this by-election. You're no Jeremy Paxman. I don't know if that's what you're trying to no, pretend I'm, that no, you are. No, not at all. And the BBC News Channel sure ain't no uh, singing and dancing success. No, I gave you my true, time to speak about the issues in this election. All you have done from the first second is attack me on behalf of the Labour Party. No, not at which all. Which is I'm a very odd you use you're... of I'm all these you... one, two, three, four, five BBC staff. I'm asking it's an you... odd use of the I'm taxpayer's you... money. It's a licence fee payer, not a taxpayer. Um, What's the difference between a licence fee and a taxpayer? It's a levy, not you a tax. Have, you want to have a debate about that? Well, what I'd like because you people to are do... sick paying the BBC for party political propaganda I would like to ask on behalf you, of I the establishment. I would like to ask you then, how long term a commitment are you prepared to make in Batley and Spend? Exactly the same as everyone else. This constituency ceases to exist at the next general election. Perhaps you didn't know that. This is the last election there will ever be in the Batley and Spend constituency. That's my commitment. But the people will still have a vote for someone. Sure they will. They'll be split into different constituencies, thanks to Tory gerrymandering. But I'll be, if elected, the last ever member of Parliament for Batley and Spen. And I hope to be. I think it would be a real signature sign-off for this constituency if they told everyone they were not going to be taken for granted anymore. George Galloway from the Workers' Party, thank you very much for talking to us. I'd be lying if I said thank you back. That's OK. That's fine. You came, you talked to us.